All right, first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer above the tan layer and give it a name. That way I know where I'm working when I view the uh, layers palette. My colors are a custom palette I've created over numerous paintings. It's basically muted colors, and it's a standard palette in Painter Lite. If there's interest, email me at greg at gregnewman.org, and I can make this available to you. Uh, maybe even put it on my site as a download. Uh, for brushes, I have a bunch of my favorite brushes, some of them from Don Siegmiller, some of them I've created, some of them from, from other places. For this, I'm going to use the acrylic captured bristle brush just to show you that you can achieve anything with standard brushes. And that's true with Photoshop, too. Uh, you don't need to have fancy brushes. If it enhances your workflow, fine. Uh, but you can achieve just about anything with the standard brushes that are provided in the core package. All right, I've grabbed some uh, nice pale skin, skin tones, and I'm going to start blocking in this painting. I'm going to uh, start with a fat brush. And you would typically do this in traditional painting too. You use a fat brush to block in your colors, uh, lay down as much paint as you can, and then as you work the painting, you'll go back through and reduce the size of your brushes uh, until you've uh, reached the detailing phase. I'm going to uh, just block in my, my darks, my lights. All right, at this point, I'm skipping ahead. The uh, beard is done. The hair is done. That warranted its own video. Uh, if you didn't get the two videos, uh, the hair video is also on my site for sale at uh, gregnewman.org or specifically shop.gregnewman.org. So I've got the beard in. I'm just making final passes on detailing here and uh, going to touch up some highlights on the shirt. <clears throat> 